Oh, what Wait. a way to start it. You are rotten. You just I didn't plan this. You at HBO? Yeah. Rich. <laughs> you rich little. <laughs> It was like yeah. pillow plushes <laughs> yes. of like a unicorn eating a cheeseburger <laughs> yes. level of this. <laughs> right in the throat. You can't get a good flip, which I've talked about my erotic relationship with blowouts. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I hear. <laughs> do you be you do channel? <laughs> Stop it. If we ever needed energy, it's nine o'clock at night. Yeah. We're making that sound like it is the latest time. No, but, but we've been just, doing. It's a, it's a full day. Yes. You full worked day this has, morning. I did work this morning. Yes. You showed up blonde. I showed up blonde today. Yes. I love surprise. Yeah. So we decided to tone your hair. Yeah. So um, we've done the tone, she the was, bleach, the process. I did walk in here looking like SpongeBob. It was yellow. Yes. I was SpongeBob yeah. Aguilera. Yeah. yeah. So we toned it. <laughs> and you came here, obviously, with makeup on because you were coming from work. <laughs> and you like thought you were going to be able to save the and makeup. And I said... I'll be able to go swimming with makeup on. It's fine. So you're washing out the initial tone and you he turns to me and he's like, I forgot I had tubing mascara on and he has flake all around his you look wrecked. Yes. Yeah. And if if you've ever tried tubing mascara, you know it just takes a splash of warm water mm-hmm. and that is off. So imagine getting rocket jet in the face <laughs> yeah. with a shower head to the yeah. eye and it was all over yeah. my face. Yes. Yeah. But you look Blonde, gorgeous, and baby faced, clean. uh, Yeah, oh, God. Did you officially wash your face or was what I'm looking at just the blast from the thing? Because your face looks like you like double cleansed. (laughs) Yeah, you look very fresh. Yes, you don't have a stitch of makeup on. I don't think I even wiped my full face, but I put moisturizer over it, so I was trying. And of course, your lips are juicy and glossy so i don't have anything on <laughs> it's just my lip it's, i don't have anything on it just seeps gloss you put so I much see- gloss on in your life that it's stored in i'm like one of those like Play-Doh lsd in the spinal just cord like, and i'm like Play-Doh out. just <laughs> yeah it oozes out naturally you just go <laughs> and it just to the surface a little aim is like <laughs> out of your lips if my lips could make a sound with gloss coming out it would be that be like is he constipated no yeah, that's no. just his gloss coming I'm out three glossing yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> You and Jennifer Coolidge are the only people that can do that. That's your superpower. Literally. Oh, my God. Hold on. I need yeah. more gloss. <laughs> Not in the lips. Yeah. Shut yes. up. Yes. The other thing you have in common, you both look like Peppa Pig. <laughs> <laughs> Shut so, up. Your spirit animal. Oh, my God. It's your birthday soon. It is next week. So it is on August 30th. What? How old are you turning? Um, I'm going to be turning 28. That was a good age. And you know what? I feel like... Truly, the past six months have just been so amazing and the most fun I think I've had Mm -hmm. in this industry. Getting to do this and coming here every week has been such like a blessing and nothing against Sephora or anything, (laughs) but girl, it wasn't for me. I know. And that's, and it's just something where I felt like I was personally being held back by so much and getting to do this. And I feel more free getting to do this part of my life now and getting to do this with you. It's the most fun I've ever had. So yes. Well, that's the thing about the internet. That's kind of wild. Did you realize like you think working in obviously like retail cosmetics or being a makeup artist, like a bridal makeup artist, whatever. Yeah. You can like share your expertise, but it's like, you know, it's transactional obviously, but then there's Mm. so much corporate bullshit that you start to really realize like, like just getting to talk to about it the way we want to talk about it in front of people that want to obviously listen. It's night and day of a difference. A hundred percent. Cumulative. Yeah, totally. And it's not for everybody either too. Uh, either situation. Yes. Not everybody's going to enjoy doing this. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They might enjoy being around people all day where can't relate. <laughs> I, you know, it, it's hard for me because I, when you do it for so long, it's like, yes, mama, it's a wrap. Yeah. But there are times where like, you do want that social interaction, but like when I choose. Yes. So, you know, day in and day out, same place, same times. Yes. Gets to be a little. Yes. Ooky spooky. Militant. And it yeah. starts to like lose its yeah. Yeah, shine. Ooky spooky. Yeah. That's yeah. Why I scooped Speaking you up. Speaking of ooky spooky. 
It's what? almost Halloween season. It is almost Halloween. We have to do a podcast in <gasps> costume, of course. Like full blown, like full blown. Like, I don't want to tell the viewers what I'm doing for Halloween. Did you tell me? I told you. I don't remember. No, I did tell you what I was doing. You did. Yeah, 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 I yeah. have no idea. Really? Oh my god, no. we should do a full episode in like full costume. One hundred percent. We'll have to yes. do that. That'll be fun. Oh my gosh. Welcome back to a brand new episode of Beautiful and Bothered, everybody. Yes, we welcome are back. talking about viral TikTok makeup products that you've probably been waterboarded with. I mean, making content on social media. I have seen all of this 10 times over. And we're going to tell you what you're wasting your money on and what you're not wasting your money on. 100%. Because this almost goes back to our a few episodes that we've done our favorite, like drugstore yes. products might still be in here. Yes, you guys love Makeup the products that you're wasting your money on. You're wasting your, wasting money, your on. money on these yeah. uh, luxury products, I think it was. The and luxury. then also and then like our dupes. favorite. We're going to go through. <clears throat> we pulled up a recent article. So this is like probably stuff you've been seeing in the past couple months. Mm -hmm. And we're going to just debunk and like you know what's actually worth it what's not and if we don't like it we can maybe we'll do, think of a this would be like a purchase or pass it's basically a whole purchase or pa purchase a purchase <laughs> purchase or pass episode how's that wine doing great great have you ever seen that online when someone fries their hair so bad that it, it's gummy oh it looks like ramen noodles <laughs> yes. and then they're pulling it off and it's like elastic bands snapping. Yes. Oh. I'm not kidding. So be careful with your hair, y'all. I mean, I bleached my own hair. Yes. Being that I followed the directions. You use the good dye young bleach, which I have to say I am very impressed. Oh, mama. That is some good shit. Let yeah. me tell you. And that was one process of it. Yes. Which was One shocking. process. That shit is fire and with you were the way it lifts pink out of your hair pink orange yellow and my natural tone yes and the way that it lifted i looked in the mirror after and i was like you've got to yeah. be kidding with how even the tone was yes. i had a few pieces of like orange left in but good die young barely they come to the party and they don't come to play i know based on other bleach products that i've used oh that can make a break the game literally Bleaches break everything. your game yeah, yeah. <laughs> like <laughs> yeah yeah and your spirit yeah, yeah. <laughs> i mean it is i have my cosmetology license but it, i mean this was 11 years ago i went to cosmetology I thought you were gonna say school. 20 years ago yeah. i was like can you calm down you are not that, old, that old to be 10 years old in cousin. it's clean here yeah. yeah yeah like and you have the the safety scissors and, yes. you're, and it's your barbie mannequin it's the um it's the scissors <laughs> with the squiggles <laughs> like yes. cutting cut it and it's not cutting anything <gasps> oh my god you just unlocked a memory for me mm -hmm. i had a scissor set of like all like to make like all the cool designs yes and it was like a wooden carousel and you would spin it and it was like 30 different pairs oh, oh my god wow. you just unlocked and they were all a like, different <laughs> yeah <laughs> You yeah. spoiled that. I was no. missing one of them. I guess I know who stole yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh my, my God. God. That was like, that was my tea. They yes. should have known I was gay, gay, yeah. gay when I was pulling that out and just making shapes and hearts, oh, pulling it God. out with the squiggle lines a or the nice, zigzag yes. and a nice doily edge to a paper. Mm. Yo, my family should have known when I was scrapbooking at the age of eight. And I was like, oh, look at this family trip. Yes. One of the gayest things I ever did was uh, in the Pokemon era. Mm -hmm. It was like the an invention of it. And I had to collect Pokemon cards. And I literally got a red binder. And, and had the sleeves had and the had sleeves. them organized. The outside of my binder, I got oh. Pokemon holographic stickers. It was as close to Lisa Frank as I could get. The only thing I cared about was the book of stickers like look decorating the front and i remember i would go to park i would get invited in elementary school before you know people were really mean and the boys would be doing pokemon or whatever i had no idea how to play doing and i pokemon. had so many cards yeah 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 doing doing, <laughs> doing pokemon, pokemon. Yeah. and i just was like i had to fake it because i didn't know i didn't know the game but i collected the cards yes yes because it was the drama of it and it was also more of like Flipping through my pages, been like, hmm, yes, or you can't have this one. <laughs> yes, yes, this is rare. I don't know where I put mine. Don't, some of those cards, honey. Oh, I'm sure. Why are people paying thousands? I know thousands of dollars for fucking Charizard. <laughs> yeah. Looking like she has a wig on. They were like, oh, it was the misprint. She's got a lace front. Yeah, like, yeah. My six year old cousin was like totally into it, and he like knew how to play. I brought my binder, and I was like, you can have him, and he was like in disbelief because he like knew the situation. He knew the world. Your cousin was sliding like a snail. Oh, literally. And I just was like, you can have it. And he, he almost didn't believe me, and I was like, no, I'm not kidding you. You can have it. Like I don't understand anything about it. It was just to not get bullied. And I loved everything. I mean, this is gonna sound really 
really gay. But when I was a kid, I just loved everything for like the colors of it all. I always, whenever I got a new pack, was just I wanted a holographic. That's Same. all I wanted because it was shiny. And if I got doubles of anything, I would like put them behind. Yes. And I was just like, oh, what a waste. It's gonna throw. Oh, what a waste. What a waste of a I'm card. gonna recycle it. I know. Well, on that note, let's actually talk about these makeup products. All right, let's do it up. Oh, what Wait. a way to start it. You are rotten. You disgusting. I didn't plan this. Yes, you did. This. No, you I put really this didn't. as the first one. This is gross. It is Clinique Black Honey. I feel like you might have some people Fuck. coming for you. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, okay, listen, if you enjoy Black Honey, power to you. But in the makeup artist world, I don't know. <laughs> this is just like, it's like spin around so long and people act like it's like undupable. And this, it's just. When this went viral, I was still working for Sephora. Yeah. This pissed me off more than anything <laughs> that went viral. Yeah. This actually really yeah. pissed me off because people I were know. coming in and I, I actually found at the time, I forget what they were, but exact dupes of it. And people would be like, well, it's not the Clinique. And they I were, know. they were 15 years old. And I'm like, well. Well, listen, it's sold out. You can order it online, have it shipped to you for free. They're like, but I want that. Yeah. I want it now. I'm like, well, listen, Veruca Salt, you can't have it right now, you little bitch. <laughs> yeah, go to so, your grandma's medicine cabinet and there'll yeah. be four bottles of and it. I'm and I'm sure you... hers is going to have black mold on it yeah. from 1922. Yes. So yes. more black power... plague honey. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> It'll have just... asbestos on yes. it. Yes. Because also, wasn't this like $35? It's, I think it's like 22. Ridiculous for but a wash of color. For the amount of product you get. Get and out of here. Do you know what it's called? Do you know the name of the product that actually pisses me off more? That Clinique no. was like, let's fuck with them. No. It's called Almost Lipstick. <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> Shut oh. up. Like, Can I pay you in almost money? Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's <laughs> right. what you should. I'm yeah. going to pull out Monopoly money, yeah. and this is for you. Yes. Have a great fucking day. Get out of here. Almost lipstick. I know. What the fuck does that mean? So I it's know. a lip balm. Literally. So get out. Get away from me. Yes. I'll try to find it between now and editing, but I'm almost positive there's an uh, Essence lip gloss that is the exact same color. Like and don't even get me started, because then they went on the the franchise frenzy of black honey they blush. They talked it. Oh, they did. Yeah, and yeah. then they came out with pink honey and then they did a pink honey everything because in case this is too bold or daring, <laughs> we're going to have a pink option. They did a I black know. honey eyeshadow palette and it's dusty, bruised, battered, and bankrupt. <laughs> bankrupt. <laughs> Clinique eyeshadow. Oh, this yeah, is a this product is that went viral, and I, you know, Clinique was like, "Are you kidding?" Don't they say like, isn't it like a thing with that like Gen Z is almost like reverting back to like the greatest generation mindset? Like they don't want nudity, they don't want sex scenes in movies because they're like, it doesn't enhance the plot. Like they're very like buttoned up. Like I feel like Gen Z is going to be wearing like turtlenecks with a brooch and black honey. Like they're no, just like and going... they show an ankle and they're going to be jailed <laughs> yeah. for yeah. pornographic material. We're going back to. The town square, stone her. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> We're going back to Victorian times. Yeah, oh, yeah. 100. What this does, it gives you a glossy bomb-like finish. So it's like it's like a glossy lip balm. So you might as well just put a lip balm or a lip gloss that's this color from like Sephora brand. Yes, Ulta yes. Beauty, Essence, a drugstore brand that's pennies. Yes, like people this is sleep ridiculous. on Sephora collection lip products. Oh my god, they're great. No, you shouldn't because they are amazing. Yes, they the are... regular lipsticks, the satin lipsticks, the lip gloss, the twist up like Every... the kind of cream me ones. It's amazing. Oh my gosh. I mean, even the liquid lips. I know you don't like matte liquid mm -hmm, lips, mm -hmm. but if you do, I'm no, like, they are amazing. oh my God. And like a hundred shades, literally. We 100. discovered that back in the day because it would, that was the Kat Von D dupe uh, generation of the, everyone wearing the crusty, dusty liquid lips uh -huh. and Sephora collection. We all were like, one day we were like, these are the same fucking thing. And they were like $14 compared to. And no tea. When Sephora collection was developing those yes. liquid lips and they were expanding the range, they were sampling other liquid mm. lipsticks in top selling shades and creating dupe colors. So like other brands do, yes. and they claim that they don't rip off other colors and whatever, like the pillow talk of it all. Yes. Essentially, Sephora Collection was like, let's give everybody the affordable option of everything that's in Sephora Collection. Yes. Basically dupes a product. They're like the original dupes. Micro Smooth was taken after Mac Studio Skin. Everything that they do, which that's why I love it. So you can easily find something like this. Yes. Dupable. And we've ranted and raved about the hourglass ambient lighting powders. If you don't want to spend that much money because they're so expensive, Sephora Micro Smooth powder. Oh my God. Stunning. Sephora collection literally and even their setting spray was duped after Urban Decay. Yes, the uh, that when I started I was a bridal makeup artist, the white setting spray. Yeah, and then they redid that 
now, and now it's 16 hour wear, and it's even better than that. Wow. Okay, moving on. Rare Beauty Liquid Blush. The Soft Pinch Liquid Blush. So I have to say, believe it or not, it wasn't until I think I did a dupe video between this and the Juvia's Place when mm-hmm. they came out that I was kind of shocked because even to my own avail, I didn't realize that it was only $23. These are relatively inexpensive compared to other Sephora liquid blushes. Yes, yeah, $23. And 23. for Selena Gomez, like Rare Beauty, I'm surprised a lot of her stuff, she really is. Like, it's not affordable. only is it great, she's like one-upping other brands, even like Fenty and House Labs and whatever, where she's like that middle price range. Yeah, because I think too, and she was smart to do this, because I think you know your audience, and a lot of her fans going Younger. to buy this makeup too, that are shopping in Sephora, those newer clients that yeah. are going to go in for Rare Beauty. I feel like with the intention of things going viral, yes, when you're a new brand, smart to have your price point's a little more attainable, and honestly, you can afford it. Yes. With what it costs to make this makeup, they're still making so much money off of these products, and they could be much cheaper, but make your coin. And also, too, it's a fair price point for everybody. Yes. And the product... Outstanding. Outstanding. And it's so pigmented that I don't think you could ever go through two in your life. So, yeah. like, Did I ever tell you what I did with this blush? And I walked into, like, I went to my mom and I said, what did I just do? Yes. I had the neon pink and I put on two dots, two full hefty dots. And then I so pigmented. I was like, you need a pin drop of this blush on. But the the formula is absolutely stunning. Even mature skin, dry skin. I think, I mean, I have oily skin. I mean, that's not really an area you're going to get oily. So I think it's just. They have dewy and matte finishes. Yes. But no shimmer in any of them, which I love. Love. So clap for your beauty. Yeah. Clap if you were impressed. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. Oh. Oh. Anyway. Anyway. (laughs) All right, next up, Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter. So let me say this. Before Elf even duped so hard, like unapologetically, Mm. I never understood the hype because I think you have to have perfect skin with this. It's just, to me, it's just a textured nightmare. And you know why I really don't like this is because I bought this when I started doing bridal and I was like, oh, everyone's going to whatever. I would put it on my hands, obviously like sanitary wise. I would always like take it out of the thing, like disposable thing, then put it on the back of my hand or a palette and then use it, yada, yada. As I put it on the client, then I'd be going on in the process. What was on my hand dried down like Elmer's glue. Like I could almost peel it off my hand. That is the last texture I want under foundation. You're out of your mind. I remember I went to a training long time ago when this was first launching at Sephora. Was Charlotte there? No, she oh, wouldn't come. Yeah. Please. Hello, darling. I'm the best makeup artist in the world. Yes. Girl, Pat McGrath is going to backhand mm-hmm. you. I feel like I was either misinformed at the training or now they're just going with whatever TikTok says. Because the way that we were encouraged to use this product was not like how everyone is just throwing it on their skin and then leaving. Yeah. There wouldn't be eight shades if it was that way. Preach. So stop. It's meant to be mixed in or used as like a glowier addition. Exactly. So now that people are like throwing this on their skin and leaving, and I'm like, ew, what are you doing with this? Like, And then people are putting this all over, even under their eye and leaving their house. I know. I just think I don't love the way this sits on the skin. I don't either. I was not a fan of this. I'm just, I don't want to be glowy from forehead to chin. To me, like I said, this is why I think you just need to be able to use this. You need perfect skin because Because when you are somebody with texture, pores, fine lines, and wrinkles, we always, the the difficult thing is where you always see people saying mature skin can't have any shimmer. You need to be matte, matte, matte. We've talked about forever how that is such bullshit and you can't. But notice that we're always talking about having a shimmer or something that glows this intensely is always in a powder form. The mm. amp- like an eyeshadow to diffuse the ambient lighting powders by hourglass because a powder sits on top of the skin. So it's diffusing the light as someone's looking at you. I don't want that same shimmer in a liquid that's going to dive in the wrinkles, <laughs> that's going to dive in the pores, that's going to dive in the fine lines. Because if you put this on someone with mature skin, give it five minutes, every single line is going to be accentuated. I just never, and you always saw the people, you saw the Merediths with perfect skin, no pores, putting this everywhere, always starting out with it. And I'm like, yeah, because you're not, you don't have to correct anything. There's no texture. And also to them putting a full coverage foundation over it. As if then it 
And getting rid of the glow. Yeah. So it's an unnecessary step. Yes. So then I'm like, why are we even doing... And then they're like, I look perfect after they've already highlighted their skin. So I'm like, that's not what that was. <laughs> that's gone. She no. is so She's six feet under. Yeah. She's so buried under your makeup. Yeah. No one's seeing the flawless filter no. come through anymore. Get yes. lost. That's yeah. three inches deep under that. Yes. <laughs> three Get out. inches. Yes. Yeah. And that's what I mean. It's just anyone who this looks good on to me, it, their skin is... It's like putting this on a balloon. Of course it's going to look good. <laughs> like, Fuck. It is... <laughs> Like Not a, a balloon. balloon. Of course it's going to look good. Oh, my like, God. So this is so. Shut up. Uh, yeah, it's not for me. And no. on top of it, this particularly, because if you do like it, get the elf. Well, and even for the elf, I was just about to say, even that, I'm like, yes, it's a good product, the elf one, and it's so much cheaper. But even so, I don't like it. Even more than the elf, what I do like that's in this category is the Maybelline 4 in 1 Perfector. That now is that what I is, actually like. Now, that is interesting because that to me, actually, I think they claim that that's blurring on the skin. Skin. Yes. So that, that actually, actually blurs yes. my pores here. Like against my nose, I always see that if I get textured, it always shows up here. Yes. And the Maybelline one actually diffuses that. And then when I put makeup over it, it looks even better. Oh my God. When I did so mature like, oh, skin okay. clients, I used to literally use the foreign one everywhere almost as like a priming base. But because that's almost more of like a, it has a tint to it in a way, which mm. is why they expanded the shade range. I could do tinted moisturizer on top, like boop. Boop, boop. Anywhere they needed the littlest bit of foundation yeah. or, or coverage product on top of the Maybelline 4 in 1 Perfector. And the first time I used it on a Mother of the Bride, I did that and I was like, oh, I barely need anything. I barely put concealer or foundation on it. I was like, oh, like you're done. You look amazing. Like, unless if you don't have anything huge to cover or whatever. But so that to me, the Maybelline 4 in 1 Perfector kicks this and the Elf's ass. Yeah. So agreed. Okay. <sighs> so next up, we have the Dyson Air Wrap. Girl, nothing's worth this. So I, I, I don't give, know. Give it up delicious. Because <laughs> yeah. this is this is wrong. Insanity. How much it is, this is like it's $5.99. No, no. Get out of here. It's $5.99. Dyson Air Wrap multi styler. So this is the complete is six ninety nine six fifty? Oh no! At Ulta it's six hundred, and on Amazon right now it's on sale for five sixty. But still, girl. No, I'm sorry. I've seen and used this product. <sighs> I have done it. I've been there. Yeah. I have used it on many of people. And doesn't it take quite a learning curve? I remember when oh, this dropped. Oh God! I, re I remember when this dropped. The best thing about it was like. All the big influencers had like, a, were either running out and buying it and trying it or getting it sent to them. And they clearly were doing like paid advertisements and they didn't, not, and I'll give them credit, nothing like this ever existed. Mm -hmm. So it was so funny to see these uh, influencer girls trying to use this. And they were like, oh, so innovative. And they were like putting it and it was just like, like so, and their spinning hair their hair was like, fucking out here. going everywhere. Yes. And they were like, oh my God. Like, and then like I remember Tati's was like trying to do. It and she was like, like by the end of it, it looked like like her hair was tied in a knot, and she was like, I think I gotta try again. Like yeah. it was so okay. So I will say the proper way to use it. There are two barrels, so their airflow. There's one that goes left and one that goes right. So you have to switch it depending yes. on the side of the hair that you're doing. So when you use it, your hair has to be damp because it is a blow dryer. Yes, it is not a curling iron. It's yes. a blow dryer, so there's air. Yes, your hair can't be dry <laughs> yeah. when you do it. Yes. So then when your hair is damp, you're actually holding, you're turning it on and you're holding it like for the audio listeners, you're holding it about your hair length away, the tool, yes. and you're holding it where at the end of the hair and you're turning it on and you're pulling it you're closer. You're starting at the end. It's wrapping the hair yes. with the air as you pull it in. It's so cool. Yeah. You're holding it there as if you were blow drying, giving it a cool shot, yeah. which people don't do. And people yes. don't realize when you're heat styling your hair with a blow dryer or anything, a cool shot is going to set your hair yes. into the style. If it's hot and you're moving it, you're basically letting it go limp and then it's all over the place. Yes. Cool shot, let it go, mm -hmm. and then you're done. Yes. It ain't all that, mama. I know. I curled somebody's hair with the shark styler, so that it's like a dupe for this. That's like three ninety nine. Yeah. Even so, four hundred dollars, yeah. you are screwing people. I know. Or it's like three hundred or four hundred, whatever. It's too goddamn much That's for this. Crazy. You know, Revlon's gonna come out with this, like they did the the yes brush, and then yes. it's gonna be burning people's hair off because it yes. gets too hot. Yes. But it's like, I'm sorry, I, I have know. seen this, and I think it's cool. You get all the attachments, whatever. Yeah. It is not worth the $600. Like, I know. Girl, this is so boot nasty. Yeah, yeah. And it's ugly of Dyson to be charging this much for a hairstyling I know. product. 
stick to bathroom hand dryers but can and call I, it a day. Can I tell you something, though? <laughs> what? Going back to, again, the Sephora day. This you is dry yes, your hair in a bathroom is, hair dryer? This is yesteryear. Yeah. Oh, there was one time I spilled um, fragrance all over myself and yeah. at Sephora. And yeah. instead of me going home, mm-hmm. which I said I wanted to do, yeah. um, which I was like, no, what I, I was just being like a salty bitch. I was like, I just want to go home. Like, fuck this. And I'm they so, won't let you. They didn't even offer it. They were no. like, yeah, just dry off. And I was yeah. like, okay. So now yeah. I'm dousing <laughs> fragrance. No, get back on the floor. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Basically, I literally was doused in fragrance, and then at that point, I'm so wet, all in my shoes, I'm drying myself in the bathroom with the the Dyson hand dryer that's in yes, our bathrooms, yes. and I'm like sitting there drying myself. And you know was like, I thought you were blow drying your- from them. Which one? The one you stick your hands between? Oh, and, and, and like Cheesecake two- Factory, oh. they have those. <laughs> you yes and it's literally that like that like uh yes. like slit like yeah, of and going, it just because it's like the car wash bitch i know nothing aggravates me more when i go into a thing and you do it and it's just like oh no <laughs> or like, when you're doing it and then the water goes all over your pants oh yes and all over your shoes and all over the floor and then you're yes. slipping on the floor that is so genius because the water goes down and under into the thing yeah i know so and um yeah just go just find a public restroom and, then and just go use your the- wet hair in the thing. <laughs> I mean try honestly, you so go get your money. Dyson vacuum and then suck up your hair one piece at a time and suck the moisture out. Probably. I yeah. mean honestly, yeah, this yeah. is just give it I up can't delicious. Endorse this. I'm sure there's people that have used it and loved and it, but I can't the, like tell you like the brushes to do this. and everything, but there's such a learning curve and honestly for $600, like I we used to get these all the time at Sephora. We we would get like a massive shipment. Of like 35 of them, which was a lot, yeah. sold out in 10 minutes. Seconds. I know. 10 I minutes. Know. People would be calling and they would be playing, like a playing, placing orders online. They would be lined up in the like the oh, registers like with pick up tickets. Store. Yeah. And they were gone. $600 a pop. And I think we made like our first goal, like like hour by hour. Yeah. We were uh, in thousands of dollars I know. in these fucking hair dryers. And, and I was it's like, not really? Like, I get that it's innovative in the sense of how you use it, but sure. it's not any easier than it's anything else. It's actually harder. harder. You, it's this, it takes the same, you could arguably, if I sat two people down who knew nothing about hair, I could teach person B how to blow their hair out with a round brush and a blow dryer as quickly as person A could, would learn how to use this. And I think the cool <laughs> like, thing about it too is that you get like almost in the sense of like with the the brush attachments yeah. of like almost like the Revlon brush or like yes. the um, straightener or like, the, there like a smoothing thing. Yeah and there's like almost like the what is it the dry bar brush that you can yes. comb out and blow it out in one thing. Fine I get that but at the same time not for $600. I know. Sorry I can't girl. faith. No Sorry. ma'am. Okay, so next up we have Debronzy anti pollution sunshine. You want okay. to take that again? Yep. So next up we have the drunk elephant Debronzy drops. So these are I kind of love these. A fan favorite. Yeah. I mean, you go into any Sephora you gave Ulta, me this. and I mean, my God. I, yeah. Yes. Oh my God. Because you I, know why? It does what the Maybelline Forward One Perfector, not as much coverage. It's more for bronze, but the texture is what I want. I there love is it. no film. There is no anything. It's almost just like a, mm-hmm. temp- a temporary. Tan yourself up without looking nuts. Like bring that up into oh, the yeah. skin. And then if you want to do a tinted moisturizer on top, you yeah. can do a lighter base product because the glow this has and the tan and the whatever is naturally like covering my redness a little bit and evening out the skin tone that I don't need is something as heavy on top. Yeah. Yeah. And even what I love about this product too, is that when you're self tanning and let's say your foundation doesn't match you anymore, you put a couple drops of this (gasps) in your foundation and whip it up and it matches you again. That's why you gave me this. Yeah. Yes. Cause my, yes. Cause my body was uh, more tan and I added it into the foundation. And these I've seen the dupes of it. I've tried a lot. There's the new um, um, In Beauty Project. They have like the face glaze and it's like a bronze color. Yeah. Similar, pretty much. I think there's a lot of things that dupe it. Like the they say the L'Oreal Glotion um, yeah. is like a dupe, but I feel like it's not quite there because some of the products have too much shimmer. Agreed. Yes. So it's not 
quite doing what this is doing and the texture, the way this dries down, it's very important how it sits on the skin. Yes. So when you're layering, it doesn't feel like a lot where we did the PR unboxing, which RIP, the footage got. My hard drive crashed again, guys. Sorry. Uh, trust me, no one's more aggravated it than me. It was so fun, but we unboxed we lost it. and um, we unboxed the new Goldie Drops yes. they sent you. And those are really What's cool. That? The new ones. Oh. It's a new shade of them. Okay. So the the new ones, it's like a pearlescent champagne color. Ooh. And they are so. Oh God. They're in there somewhere. I don't even know what I get. I know. I know. We unbox and you're like, what? Listen, yeah. Um, but they are so good. So you got to try them because now people are mixing this. This, that, and then in just the moisturizer. And I know my skin, like when I put it on in the morning, I'm like, this is, and I went to work with no makeup on. And yeah. I was like, I was just wearing that because I was like, oh, I want to have like an easy day. My skin was glowing and it yeah. wasn't shimmer. It was like this beautiful dewiness about yeah. my skin. So these, I the Goldie the Drops, these, these and even the blush drops that they have, the three colors. Oh, I didn't know that. Oh my God, the blush ones are cool. Wow. I have to tell, so. This, I would say, is worth the hype. 100%. Um, 100%. I love that moisturizer you gave me from Junk Elephant. Oh, my what God. Is that? The Proteiny. Let me tell you. First of all, it feels incredible. But yeah. I love a moisturizer that has the pump that gives you the exact amount you want, that you push it down and go. I oh, bought yeah. a while ago the Skin Fix, which I thought was okay. But I used that re- the blue packaging, the Skin Fix. Uh-huh. I the used triple it religiously, lipid. Yeah. religiously, and I didn't see... A difference? Any improvement in my skin. It was really? hydrated, but I didn't see any improvement in like fine lines and wrinkles, texture, tone. You'll have to let whatever. me know when you've been using this for yes. an extended period. So I've been period. using it solid. You gave it to me like a little over a week ago. And I, yeah, I have to say, it's amazing. I really like it. It's incredible. Yes. It's such a good moisturizer. And there was a four week study on that. Didn't I show you that yes. of like the woman that had it on I'll her forehead? <gasps> I know. So Which, awesome. That's what I want to get rid of. I want to reduce the lines in my forehead. Yeah. Oh my God. And that I feel like will definitely help. Like you should even look at like a before and after of yourself if you mm-hmm. take one even mm. now and then in three weeks that's time, really good yeah take another one and you'll see a difference i totally do it out. yeah so but this is worth the hype worth it girl i don't get it i don't get it this is the nude sticks nudies matte whatever was it the glamzilla collaboration that made this whole nude stick situation go viral because didn't she have a collaboration with nude sticks she might have um I don't really, I never really cared for nude sticks like this. $35. I'm sorry. I just don't get, and like, I appreciate a brush on something, but not that brush, honey. Not that. Yeah. Yeah. Like the makeup yeah. by Mario blushes Jan, and bronzers. Not this. Not this. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No. And the makeup gross. by Mario ones, like the makeup by Mario bronzers that look like this with the brush on the end. What I love about the Mario, you can detach the brush to clean it properly. Exactly. This girl, you know, people are going to be. Spooky, spooky, yeah, you know what this out. reminds me of the old KKW sticks with that horrible mm-hmm. dense brush that would like practically remove what you remove what you're doing. Remove. And you know this brush after a while, it's gonna be facing this way. <laughs> it's gonna be going like the opposite way. Yes. They're gonna be like, it doesn't blend anymore. No, and I'm just I'm over the and honestly, no, thirty five dollars. And, and I haven't even tried the formula <laughs> to be honest with you. But for thirty five dollars, mm, you I've don't need a bronzer. Tried stick. the blushes, and it's a no no. <gasps> Hello, America. Trixie Cosmetics. These things, Sunsetina for me, the cream bronzing stick. I absolutely love them. I'm obsessed with this. I'm going to make a short about it soon. But the reason I love this is because this is completely a dupe because it is cheaper than my Hindash liquid contour. And that's obviously a contour, so it's more cool tone. This, they are kind of neutral. They're not really that warm, but I love it because I can always tell with a bronzing stick like that, me being more oily, I when I put it on the back of my hand, dip my stippling brush and use it, when it dries down on the back of my hand, give it three minutes, four minutes. When I run my hand back and forth, it is to my skin. And that that's I the Hindash does the same thing. I know she ain't going to budge. She ain't right. gonna budge. And, and that's you know, how Trixie this is. is Miss Slip and Slide. Miss Trixie is $16 and doesn't yes. move. She is Miss Glossy Glostino over here. Yeah. It's gonna be, yes. She is more wet than my lips. <laughs> Literally. After I'm yeah. done with gloss. Creamy, steamy. Just yeah. fucking st- oh, right off in the sun. Yeah. <gasps> this will evaporate when you come out. And I just, it's overpriced. No, I can't. I and you can't know you ain't getting no product in that. Uh-uh. You twist that up, it's a little nugget. Yeah. And look at that because you see where it would like, the product would like, break in like yes, where it goes yes. up that's the amount of product you're probably getting 100%. if not less i know yeah so 
No. Yeah. I want to say pass. No way. So bad. I'm like, pass. So, pass. I know. Pass. Yeah. So pass. It's our show. It's our show. We do it. We and will we, do it. We want. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> You are. Oily. You didn't want to touch my oily nose. Yeah, I was like, oh, do we? Kevin just said he hates this mascara. This I is the it. Essence Lash Princess. What do you hate about it? Okay, I have tried multiple <laughs> mascaras from Essence. Yes. What the fuck are we doing? Yeah, yeah. And I'm not kidding. I am so over like this brand with their There's mascaras. So many. There's too many. Well, <laughs> and A, they need to stop because the one time I went into Ulta to go buy this mascara and I was about to ask somebody where Essence was. You and say I, mascara very mascara. Like it has it has a bounce to it. Just say mascara. Yeah. yeah. I went in to go purchase this mm-hmm. and I was gonna ask somebody and I, I Never do that. Yeah. But then if I looked down, there was a almost a Best Buy clearance bin <laughs> DVD section of Essence Mascara. <laughs> I'm going to kill you. Oh, my God. Yes. The Walmart Jagunda uh, cardboard <laughs> ball pits. And it was filled with like DVDs. It was like yeah. pillow plushes <laughs> yes. of like a unicorn eating a cheeseburger <laughs> yes. level of this. <laughs> right in the throat. Yeah. <laughs> Yes. And you know what the fuck I'm talking about. So I walk up and there's about 300 of these mascaras in there. And I was like, and in my mind, when I see that volume of something, (laughs) no pun intended. (laughs) Yeah. I say, now that shit's got to be fucking old. Old. Yes. So then I, you know, I pick up one and I get home and it's dry as fuck. Oh, really? So then I was like, you know what? Fuck it. It's three ninety nine. I'll go back yeah. and get another one tomorrow. Yeah. Not even going to exchange it. Not going to return it. I don't give a fuck. Now I'm just mad. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So then I go back and I get another one and it's fucking From dry. From the clearance bin or a freshie? Uh, so I, th- this time I went to the gondola because I okay. said, I'm not getting any of that old Walmart type <laughs> yeah. shit. Yeah. Keep that unicorn eating cheeseburger to itself. <laughs> yeah. Did Mary. it have a red sticker like of like a lower price or was it just like no, no, a convenience? It was, it was because a grab and go bin. this <laughs> went viral. So then they oh. had an alarming amount of it because I guess Essence sits on this in their warehouse and then they just pump it to every store. Okay. So then I pick up a new one yeah. from the gondola this time. Yes. And I get one. And it was this. And it was this The green one. Lash Princess. The green. Okay. And everyone was ra- ranting and raving. Yeah. Got it home. Dry. Dry, really? And then I was like, you know what? I'm going to go back right now. Got yeah. in my car, and this time I opened it, and I said, no fucking way. Like so the Wicked Witch in. of the West. Dun, 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 yeah. dun, dun, on the way back to... Oh, yeah. Literally yeah. on my bike. And yeah. then I go back in, and I get the one with a purple label this time, because <laughs> I said... i you, yeah. little mascara, too. <laughs> yeah. Mascara. <laughs> mascara. <laughs> and I get the purple one, and dry as fuck. And you know what? I went back in, and before I even purchased the purple one, I opened it. I fucking... No shame. I opened that shit in the store and I said dry yeah, yeah. trash <laughs> yeah. just, as I, just thought. as I thought trash, trash. <laughs> and I put it back and I said fuck this yeah and I saw so, I'm I can't I, w- I refuse yeah to ever try this ever again I refuse so I hate the green I love this in blue the waterproof the waterproof never I went just through, as I thought <laughs> trash. trash I went through tube after tube never dry and the old this is my other thing all of the regular not waterproof essences flake like a motherfucker. The waterproof is the only one that doesn't flake, but it's only the blue. It's only the blue lash princess that I like. Any other one I ever did, I didn't really like that much. But well, honestly, I know, but honestly, I would say too, if you're even on the fence, the wand of this is so unremarkable. It that is a disposable mascara wand. You know how you buy disposable mascara ones and it's that generic? That look at that brush. It's 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 Amazon disposable <laughs> mascara ones. And so No, it is. Yes. It is. So that's why I would say I, I know this is like $4.99, but for like $9.99, you can get Lash Paradise from L'Oreal. You can get Sky High. You can get uh telescopic. You can get uh, so many other L'Oreal yeah. and Maybelline mascaras really yeah. are elite. And yeah. it's four dollars more. So I would skip this. Yeah. I would just 100%. go for L'Oreal just, or Maybelline. Yeah. Over yeah. this. So now okay, we're going to get aggressive. We have Dior. I can't even, I don't even <laughs> want to look at it. I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> yeah. This is like a scarring yeah. product to me. Like I'm so bruised, battered and bankrupt yeah. from this. Cause you know why? When I look at something like this, this is an unapologetic, just fist down the throat of the consumer. We're making 
pink, barely there lip oil and charging $40, $40 just because it's Dior. And all these TikTok girlies are running out like, ooh, it's the best thing in the world. $40. For and I think there's like 10 shades in this. And honestly, there Which was- Which they no- just expanded it, didn't yeah. they? Yeah. Yeah. And I, I had them all on my arm. I think when the first eight launched and then they launched two more, whatever the case was, whatever the original colors were. Mm-hmm. And I remember putting them on my arm and I was like, oh, these feel nice. They look nice. And I was like, okay, fine. I forgot about this. And you had a story about this. Yes. And I, I, you know, we were all wearing them and then we're all wearing them in the hype of the, you know, all the lip oil Virality. trends and everybody wanted this one and we were all wearing it. And my one coworker said to me, she was like, oh, my lips feel like a little rough. Mm-hmm. And I was like, oh, okay, whatever. Then I was like, well, mine kind of do too. I was like, I think it's from the Dior. And she goes, I think mine is too. And then my boss was like, well, mine get rough too. And I was (laughs) like, I think there's some ooky spooky ingredients in here giving people like this like fine, like rough skin on the lips Yes, that no matter what exfoliator you use, it's staying. Like, you know when you get that and it's like that fine grainy feel on your lips. And I'm like, what the fuck is going on? So there has got to be, it's the fragrance. It's something. This is ooky spooky. Lip oils are so overdone. I, I saw the Juvie's Place ones that we did a purchaser pass yes. a few episodes ago. I saw them in store. $12. Go get that shit instead. Delicious. Because this is <laughs> corny, tired, yes. and played out. I'm over it. I know. The amount of people that used to steal this product too. And I was like, have some class and have some taste. If you're going to steal anything, steal something that's worth your while. Yes. yes. Trash opinion. He's stealing this, really. Barely there tinted lip oil. $40. I used to get that same weird rough peely from Mm. the EOS egg. Oh, Remember the EOS egg? Honey, that was petroleum jelly in a dome. With salt. Like yeah. the, it literally used to make your dry your lips. You were out. the snail from A Bug's Life. I said no thaw. <laughs> yes. <Yeah. laughs> literally to dry yeah. your lips out. Yes. Because oh the my EOS God. egg, I feel like it was one of the first. Like, did you see what they did to the EOS <gasps> that egg? That freaked me out. You were like, ja, ja, ja. <laughs> and I'm like fully possessed. I'm like, can I have an exorcism to go, please? Yeah. The EOS egg that was now bedazzled that they're selling it for their birthday. Who's EOS? EOS? It was on the, trend mood. The containers bejeweled. Guys, no. I'm sorry. No, we've said it here before. No lip product should be over $25. And if it is, it better have color. This, I can't with shit like this going viral. This is just, you know what? this is the tiktok thing of like the rich girl you wish you were. That's why it goes viral. Because Haley Bieber put this on it's and you're like, some ah! girl, Exactly. It's some girl yeah. in her apartment in New York City that like everyone's like, how the fuck do you afford that? Putting this on, being like, mm, you're going to go out tonight. And well, and she gets them for free, getting Preach. sent to her. Preach. She posts about it yeah. and then gets more sent to her. No. So it's like, she ain't paying for this. No. 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 Girl. Okay, speak of the devil. <laughs> yeah, we didn't, I didn't even, even know, know this was on here. here. Um, yeah. Wow, and I was talking all that shit. Um, if you couldn't tell, this fries your hair off. It yeah. gets too hot, and people were literally getting breakage <laughs> from it within two uses. Yes. So it was, um, yeah. yeah, you have a heat yeah. protecting up to 450. Is- Honey, you're preheating the oven to about... 525 with this. Yeah, yeah, This is the Revlon one step for the audio listeners. Yes, this is like the, basically it's the blow dryer and the round brush in one. And you know what it was aggravated the fuck out of me about this? Even if it didn't fry your hair off, was the barrel isn't round. It's an oval? It's an oval! It's pronounced oval. It's pronounced oval. Why on a blowout, you, what? You can't get a good flip. Which I've talked about my erotic relationship with blowouts. Yes. I yes, I was blowing out Kevin's hair. Um Thank God. and I Thank you so much. Yeah, I was saying I was like, what if I was making you look like George Washington and you didn't know? Yeah. Like curler set. Like just full blown, like yeah, roller set. The girl on Big Brother with the one roller in her hair. <laughs> yes. What is that doing? <gasps> Big Brother. Is anyone watching Big Brother say in the comments? Because if so, we're gonna talk about it. That episode was unhinged. Oh, I know. I didn't even need to see the rest of the season, and I was like, my heart was pounding. Girl, spoiler alert. If you haven't caught up on Big Brother from last week at this point. Speed um, up to like They just backdoored Heisem. And I Ooh. am, it was heavenly. Anyway. Crazy. So it's not round. And no, that drives me it's insane. it's weird. I don't get it. And what I feel was like the original of this? Dry Bar? Dry Bar. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Dry Bar was the original. And I feel like there's got to be something wrong because too many people use this. And I'm like, why are people not more alarmed that it's literally frying people's hair off as a blow dryer? Because I feel like people don't, it's the same reason i feel like everyone straightens their hair on like 450 degrees you know what i mean everyone just cranks that up because they don't want to wait but for this it, is whatever. one temperature i know 
This is one temperature and it gets too hot where I'm like, I think this is going to catch the house on fire. <laughs> fire. Yes. Good Lord. So absolutely Do you not. recommend the dry bar though? Is that more heat regulated? Um, the dry bar one, and you know which one is actually really good? It's by Bedhead. Mm. The TG or whatever their brand is from okay. Bedhead. And they had one. I literally found it in TJ Maxx and I yeah. couldn't believe it. It's an oval shape. Uh I know but, none of them are round. But I, I like it for me that I have shorter hair because I go up and I wrap. Okay. Because on the two bigger flat sides, it has yeah. like almost like boar bristles. Yes. Gives me more grip to the hair. Yes. So when I pull it back and blow it out and then I'll push it forward yeah. and then like style it differently. And my thing about this one was like they tried to market this like you were really saving money because it was like the cheapest. Isn't it like 50 something dollars? No, this is only, it used to be like 32, but now I think it's up to 40. The 32 oh. might be like a holiday thing, but- this is like $40. So that's what I mean. I don't think the other ones that are a little bit more temperature regulated are that much more expensive where I wouldn't go with this thinking you're saving the money because oh, I think it's just going to damage your hair. I believe, honestly, spending, because I think the dry bar now is up to like one fifty. Oh, Jesus. Well, dry which bar. Is, <laughs> it's a little, it's a little cray, but. If you find the one that like one. Bedhead, which okay. is like I paid forty dollars for it Amazing. in TJ Maxx, so yeah. do not buy the Revlon. Sounds good. Next up, we have the Makeup by Mario Surreal Skin Foundation. Did this come out right before or after House Labs? Before, before. So it was around the same time because if you notice that when concealers come out, they all come out around the same time of year, and same thing with foundation. You're right. Did you see that? Because now House Labs and, and Makeup Mario, by Mario are coming. Out. Why is that? Um, same I batch think it's of fucking um, formula. Well, and it's it's a lot to do with I think anniversary numbers and like um, rival competitors. Mm. Like when you're each coming out with something, I think too. Yeah. Just like that's my observation. And even so, January is typically always skincare because people are coming out of winter, so they always want new skincare for the new year. Everything like that. It's mm. always January is a very skincare. Uh, yes. Focus month where I feel like now, because even if you go into a Sephora, you'll see the concealers that have been out forever are now updated to the top shelf. Oh, so it okay. Okay. Um, which is crazy. And it's just a marketing thing too. So it's genius. Yeah. Um, but yeah, the Surreal Skin came out before Gaga. Yes. Yeah. So to me, because I remember I reviewed them back to back, I remember saying in my long review on my beauty channel of the Surreal Skin Foundation was I thought it was very beautiful. Not for me. Like not if I mean, if you are even relatively combination or oily run for the hills because she is glowy is an understatement. I think there's that like, what is that in it? Mica. Mica. Um, it looks like glitter. It's not glitter. It's um, but it the looks, pearlescent. Yeah, yes. So then I always say, I'm like, okay, if something is this glowy, this radiant, like this better be good on dry and mature skin. Then the house labs came out and same with the house labs. I was like, this is beautiful. It's not for me. I have combination and oily skin. And then the beautiful part was like, I got to, obviously I had them. So I started using them on clients. The house labs on mature skin was blew this out of the water. I know. Blew it out of the water, let alone the yeah. ingredients in house labs. Trump's makeup by Mario. A hundred percent. I couldn't agree more. I think the makeup by Mario was a little, I like it enough. If house labs didn't come out, it wouldn't have had that good of a competitor. You know what I mean? But the ha yeah. they would have maybe had a drugstore version, which I have one in mind, but the house labs in that price range to come mm -hmm. out and be a little bit more expensive, but to have the ingredients it has to have the better formulation, just, it was bad timing for Mario. Well, and even now with the concealer launches that Mario was coming out with head to his, head. and yeah, I've actually, I've tried again. it. Yeah. And Both. it's, uh, so no, no, you're getting, you're getting sent the house labs. The house but labs you tried is coming the Mario. soon. I think it should be here like next week or something. But I'm very curious because I tried the Mario and I heard rave reviews, and I'm absolutely not impressed. Not, not at all. Yeah, it says you don't need to set it with powder or anything. Girl, don't tell me that. Self setting, and when I I'm not joking. I you wore know what's self setting? Nothing, because it's bullshit. And okay, and you know what? Let's talk about it because Kevin Bennett on Instagram will always talk about things being yes. When he says that, he's like, it's basically calling out the bullshit of like when people say things are creaseless. That's impossible. Everything will crease. And he yes. said it. I wanted to stand up and clap because yes. he's like, to make this claim is impossible. Everything will crease yes. if it is not properly set. Yes, he's like this. This will move. Do not claim it is creaseless. I mean, how many times have we seen it? Mar Tarte Maracuja Creaseless Concealer? Yes. Get lost. No. This is another one, though. 
it's self-setting. It dries down. So you're telling me the formula dries down, still creased under my eyes. Yeah. Every fine line I have on, under my eyes completely creased and it was settling and it's it looked a liquid. heavy. And it looks radiant. Of why course. do I why do I want to look radiant and wet under it. my eye? I don't get it. What are we doing here? It dries me. So now too. I already feel like in my head, I'm already checked out from this. I know. And I'm excited for house labs. I'm excited for House Labs. I wasn't excited for Mario because of this. Because of this battle, I knew House Labs won to me. So I am so excited for House Labs because I think House Labs concealer, I'm hoping they don't really go the same route like toe-to-toe with the foundation. I hope they just make it hydrated. Just hydrating, hydrating, hydrating. Yeah. I hope it's an elevated version of the NYX serum concealer. That's what I want. That's yeah. what I'm praying for. Because to me, yeah. still, the NYX serum concealer I is I love that concealer. Elite. Oh, I love that elite. concealer. So when I get them in, we'll have to play with them. And yes. See what the tea is, but yeah. yeah. We've said it before in episodes, a, especially for mature skin and dry skin, if you want I mean, the, an elevated house labs. It's unbelievable, mm, that it's foundation. Great. It's um, absolutely but that, it's great. more of a, that's more of like a foundation foundation. Like, it, like, I don't think that's really something you can like shear and like just a whatever. It's very. Yeah, I don't love really, to shear it out. I no, love to wear it. I don't love to shear blown. it out. Exactly. Where to me, L'Oreal True Match, this hyaluronic serum. Mature skin to die for. Yeah. That is unbelievable. And it's Absolutely. drugstore. But yeah. that's still like 20 bucks because I think it's a really elevated formula. But it but is... I would tell people to do that over this Makeup by Mario foundation. 100%. Yeah. Yes. Because it has that mica shimmer in it, but yes. it doesn't look like it when you put it on. No. And so. it just, it, it wears better. It's, you can shear it out. That you can do oh, a little. Yeah. Like that's where I used to do, like I'm saying on Mother of the Brides, I would do a little bit of the uh, Maybelline 4-in-1 Perfector and then take a drop of the L'Oreal uh, True Match serum, mm-hmm. fucking whatever, too yeah, many yeah, yeah. words in the title, you know I what I'm know. saying? And do a dot, and then barely use that where I needed to, set it to die for. Yeah. To die for. Love where it. So exactly, where I think the L'Oreal dupes Mario, I don't think it dupes House Labs. I don't oh. think they can do the same thing. So no, that's no, no, why no, no, I no. would pass on the Mario. I don't think it's worth it. No, I really don't think it's worth it either. Yeah. We disagree, baby girl. <laughs> this no, is you know the what? Laneige you know what? Sleeping mask. I use it every night. Me too. So I what use are it you, every what night. Are, what are you giving me a grimace? You know who you just sounded like? Did what? you ever watch True Blood? No. <gasps> okay, let's talk about that. A friend of mine in high school tried to get me to watch True Blood, and you talk about an uncomfortable moment. It was like in the pilot, a vampire is like mm-hmm. very aggressively having relations with a woman. <laughs> Who is like tied up and he's like vampire speed. So it's going so fast. Oh, and he kills her and she's hung up on the ceiling. Yeah, they were doing like a. No, they were having sex. No, no, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, but she was. Yeah, well, she was like tied up and then, but. Why? Well. Did he fuck her too hard? (laughs) (laughs) No, the vampire did. It was like he was almost. They thought that the vampire killed her, but in turn, it was actually a human that went in and killed her while she was tied up after the vampire and her had sex. Okay. I think he went in and killed the vampire off camera, and then the, the camera kept rolling because it was on video, and then he fucking strangled her. They oh. were like, well, a vampire wouldn't strangle somebody. They were like, it wasn't because she had bite marks all over her. Okay. And it was for the pleasure, but then the, oh God, I, this show was so good because the killer reveal, yeah. I gagged. I was in a freshman in high school. I was up in the like, work, bitch. Yeah, like, yeah. When they when they found a out who the killer was, in high school. Oh my god! I mean, like, no True spoilers. Blood was like porn. But it there was, was like, maybe oh, too it was. I yeah. used to watch it every what Tuesday or Thursday it was on HBO. I used yeah. to, I was tuning in every fucking week. It was wow. amazing. You had HBO. Yeah, rich. <laughs> you rich little. <laughs> Oh my God. It was incredible. Oh my God. We got to watch that show. It was so fucking good. Like I will say you got to get like, you got to be going to it with an open mind because a lot of shit happens, but that first season. Yeah. What the fuck? But anyway, why the fuck um, are we talking about true blood with the lineage sleeping mask? Girl, I don't know. (laughs) What the fuck was that? (laughs) You brought it up. Wait, wait. Lineage sleeping mask. You put it on every night. Girl, what the fuck? Do you said, do you remember? Did you ever watch true blood? Oh, you Uh sounded like the main character when you were, like I use it ever not. They oh. were from Louisiana, and you sounded oh, okay. like one of the characters. Yeah. It was the vampire. That his name was Bill, mm. a vampire named Bill. Bill. Okay, so the Laneige sleeping mask. The reason why I'm over this is that girl. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Stop coming out with forty fucking flavors. Oh, I know, I know. Lemon lime, whatever. And the then case the is. strawberry yeah. lemonade twisted up. 
<laughs> yeah, yeah. And then we have like chocolate covered strawberries. I bought mine last Christmas and I still have them. That's what I mean. They last forever. But they I do. Got, it you was can... two big ones and a mini one. Or no, two, one big one and two minis. And mm. I still use this one as the one by my bedside. I love it. One of them was peppermint. Girl. And gingerbread. Oh, no, I didn't get that one, no. Oh my God, the gingerbread yeah. one is boot nasty <laughs> yeah no the berry i love and they had a pumpkin spice it literally smells <laughs> as if you opened a yankee candle and yes. sniffed it because yeah. it smelled like waxy pumpkin spice <laughs> and i said oh yeah did you see the fucking bts collab that they did with laneige and what one of the flavors was no butter i was so intrigued i, I said oh butter <laughs> no mama i wanted that in a full size yes i'm shitting on all the flavors give me the butter flavor that just Welcome to the butter me, shop. It just reminds me of Kristen Wiig doing Paula Dean. I don't think I've ever seen that. SNL? Yes. And she starts licking a stick of butter. I don't yeah. think I've ever and seen she, that. That's, that's where I that's, get the, and I got the sugars. The, she's it, the one that said that. Is that where it's from? That's where it's from. She's like, yeah, she's like, but I got to cut back because I got the sugars. That Shut is from Kristen up. Wiig. Oh love my that. God. So this, I would say, is definitely, I love I this. I love this. But wait for holiday because they always have the sets. Did the math year ago, you basically get a whole one free with the holiday sets. Well, and I'm not they, kidding you, it's la- it lasts me over a year. The best sets. And the, sometimes they did, last year, they had five minis for $18. Yes. The five minis. And I'm like, that's cheaper than one of these. And it I equates even to more. The, the mini I like. You know yeah. what I mean? It, they last forever. Yeah. And some of the flavors, if you don't like them, but get the sets. They're so good. Yes. So this, love. I love. Okay, next up, we have the Elf Power Grip Primer. How do you feel about this? Out of everyone here, who would be the three? I who? love this. Okay. I want to. I want to. But to be honest with you, I don't think I understand the concept of... A sticky primer? Yeah. Because if oil is still coming from the skin, she gonna move despite the grip. You know what I'm saying? Nothing's trying to pull your makeup off. Do you know who I think this it's is for? It's coming from within. I don't think this is for an oily skin Dry client. skin. It's dry skin. This is dry skin I, where okay. I feel like it almost keeps texture at bay mm. for drier skin. But if you're oily and textured, it ain't the move. It's keeping the dead skin that you don't want to exfoliate grip off. Grip to the skin. <laughs> Fucking grip to and the skin. And when you go to when you go to take your makeup off, it's like double headed tape, which is exfoliates. <laughs> yes, yes. Um, but this is great, honestly. When I yeah. used to use the, no, it is nice. the milk I, primer, this is a very good dupe of the milk for ten dollars. If you're oily, I would not get no. this. I feel like it doesn't do anything for oily skin. If you have perfect normal skin or you're dry, do it up. This is great. But otherwise, if you're oily, don't do this. No, I will only if you have dry skin, I yeah. would say. And they have the one with like niacinamide. In it. Yes. What is with everybody and their mother putting niacinamide in everything? Next, Honey Nut Cheerios <laughs> is going to put niacinamide <laughs> no, in them. No, niacinamide. <laughs> Heart healthy. Now with niacinamide. Yeah. yeah. Stop putting niacinamide in hyaluronic acid. And if I get one more person asking me if hyaluronic acid is too strong for them, I said hyaluronic acid is a molecule <laughs> that holds a thousand times its weight in water. Don't is be, water? Don't yeah, be. yeah. They're like, but isn't it going to burn? I'm I like, no, please It's not an stop. active acid. It's going to be the same when they put niacinamide in Cheerios. It's going to be like the Eva Longoria commercial where she said, hyaluronic acid. Remember that? I hated that with where every fiber of my being. That It has too many syllables to do that. Because she was almost making fun of the average person going, hyaluronic, <laughs> hydrolonic, <You're> hydroponics. <laughs> yeah. I'm hooked on phonics. <laughs> like, <laughs> what? You're so right. I get that. The uh, trying to punctuate it. Like, let's say, oh, you know what you should be eating? Cheerios. That yeah. has a little bit of punch. It has a little bit of sass. But when there's that many syllables, it's as though she was looking at the pores through the screen. She goes, hi, hi and the the Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Take care of your skin, you yeah. ugly bitch. Like, yeah, that's like you're giving. looking at everybody going, you dumb bitch. Yeah, totally. Anyway, this is a good primer. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, next up we have the Urban Decay 24 Hour. This is the Moon Dust Eyeshadow in Space Cowboy. So beautiful. The price point is a little up there. Little $24 steep. for each product, but Miss Ma'am. <sighs> yes. I put, I have two of these. I have this one and the lighter white one in my kit at yes. all times for every goddamn person that I, I would put makeup on because these are stunning. What a bridal color. Oh, this Space Cowboy is that bitch. And as a highlight, when you want to be extra, Mm -hmm. take a little bit. And I always took this on my finger, not a brush. And I always like to press it in the eye and press it here or like with a dense brush. Yeah. Absolutely stunning. It is worth the $24. I mean, even the 
Urban Decay single shadows I love. I mean, Urban Decay eyeshadows are amazing. So Well, hold on, pause. Because the palettes are garbage. The singles are great. What is... You are right. Why? Yeah, so we need to pause there because... Which, let me tell you, I'm going I'm to look at the camera and say this. I'm sure almost every one of you watching this right now owns a naked palette. If you thought the two of us went off about Black Honey by Clinique, I mean, you want to get... You want to make me see me flip a table... Yeah, I Teresa can't. Judice. Yeah, literally. You prostitution yeah, you prostitution whore. whore. Yeah. yeah. They had one called the Wild West. And oh I said, God. this whole brand is the Wild West at this point. Okay, so I was gonna Ma'am. ask about this though. Oh, the yes. Urban Decay, the Moon Dust, ColourPop Super Shock Shadows. Oh no, this does this ColourPop doesn't hold a candle to this. Okay. ColourPop Super Shock doesn't hold a candle. I think we're both on the same page about this. Controversial opinion. I don't love Super Shock Shadows. Oh no, no, hold on one second, Mary. <laughs> <laughs> okay, maybe that's somebody else. I don't know. No, because I do love them. I mean, there are certain colors that are boot nasty the house. Yes. But um, there are so many that I use for brides. There's one color from ColourPop Ritz that is like, <laughs> eat it up. Oh, but Mary. Correct me if, <laughs> but correct me if I'm wrong. Uh-huh. The only reason you really use them for bridal is because they're like, they're more toppery than they are full coverage, glitter, glitter, glitter. I'm not putting that by itself, bitch. Exactly. I got to put, no, because I do I do regular shadow, then I top with ColourPop, and then right in the middle, I put this in the middle of their eye, inner corner, and touch under the brow bone. <laughs> okay. Do the eating again. Yeah, that was- okay, so yeah, Kevin endorses. Um, I've used I these, these too. I love these. I love Absolutely these. But love you still love. use these for bridal. And I mean, it's a gorgeous, gorgeous color. Oh my color. God, they're so pretty. And even alone, Space if Cowboy. you want that like scattered glitter eye and you just want something soft and you just have like a little blush and bronzer in the crease, scatter this almost like haphazardly in the middle of the eye, bring yeah. it like to the brow bone. <sighs> Mary Dugan. I am going to say something love though. This. Oh God. You may disagree with me. I just think for $24, yeah, it's lovely. But when you just said that, it reminded me of like how whenever I do that kind of a look where it's that scattered shimmer, elf flirty birdie. See, now there's a thing with liquid shadows that I just, it doesn't get, it doesn't give me what this gives me where flirty birdie and all of like the liquid shadows typically have too much of a pigment base to them where it's not enough like scattered. They have like a metallic base with glitter. This is no almost like a free base, I want to call it, and just more glitter that you're picking up that can give you a sheer yeah. tone so you see what's underneath it's it. It's been a long time since I used this. So honestly, you're making me want to try it again. So I think you absolutely need to. Okay. This is one of the things I will go far to say that no one does this better than Urban Decay. Wow. Make it by Mario. Tried it in the Ethereal Eyes palette and there was too much fallout. We know how you feel about them. The Ethereal Eyes palette. You say, you are not going to make a fool out of me. I, to yeah. this day. Did you ever get it? Do you know that? Do you, Okay. I told y'all that they didn't. They said, it's not being restocked. Fuck you. <laughs> yeah. Because there's a spot on the Sephora gondola. They did an update for it and now covered it up. If it wasn't coming back when the update was done, it would have been off. <laughs> yeah. Get lost. <laughs> yeah. So you're so you think it's coming back. I know it's coming back. They are playing ghouls and goblin games with me, bitch, and I'm not no fool. I- my man ain't raised <laughs> no fool. I'm a smart bitch. If you're watching on YouTube, I'm gonna in whatever episode you I'm gonna go back and look whatever you went this part one, because we're keeping this, they this are, chronicle I'm, going. I'm telling you. You have an open investigation against me by Mario. My words. This is one of the this palette too, I love it. It is such a great palette. Mm-hmm. Stop playing games with people. You know it's gonna sell out. It would be a cult favorite yeah let it be its thing this is gonna be a running open investigation no, of I'm whether not, the mario and i love i do back. love makeup by mario i love most of their products the mm-hmm. foundation i could live without the conceal i'm still on the fan fa- i'm gonna try the concealer again to really dive deep into there to see what's going on nothing here. from mario has ever stuck in my routine what i just think mario's mario makes makeup for dry skin people who want to look like they're on the red carpet Mm. He does not give a fuck about anybody with oily skin. There's not one product. The skin enhancer, the way everything is glow, 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 cream, cream, and muddy, goopy cream. Nothing is for people with oily skin. Nothing. Think about one product. Exactly. And next up. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> 
That's what I mean. He just does it. Nothing no, is ever stuck not. on my routine. No, yeah. I know. And I do love a lot of the products. All right. Next up, we have the One Size Until Dawn Mattifying Waterproof Setting Spray. So this was a part of a little bit of a controversy recently. So Yeah, I didn't. I'm surprised. I didn't hear anything about that controversy where people were spraying it on their face and even getting white powder. Oh, I meant the Beyonce thing. Oh, so two things. So yeah, I think there was like a factory defect where people were spraying it on, putting it was, like setting their the powder was whatever, coming out, and the powder, which is supposed to obviously mix in a certain way that it's not supposed to come out clear, etc. Something was going wrong, and it was literally like dry shampoo, like turning people like like French powdered like yeah. faces white. Yeah. So Patrick obviously came on. It was like, oh my god, I'm mortified. I don't know what's going wrong. I'm gonna figure it out. Everyone got refund. He handled it really beautifully. So then the uh, Beyonce was just performing on a Renaissance tour. The Beyonce. The what did I say? The Beyonce. You said the Beyonce. <laughs> oh, the- as well, if there's multiple dame beyonce was performing on a renaissance tour and it was an outside venue started pouring rain and her makeup was flawless mm-hmm. and her makeup artist made a post basically saying because people started to say like how is her makeup not moving and he said he tagged one size this setting spray i mean patrick even has a video where he sprays his makeup goes under a pool comes up dabs it nothing comes off yeah. it's unbelievable yeah it was a whole remember the shady thing where like then mm-hmm. it started to sell out like crazy was started to go viral Yes. And then Beyonce's makeup artist del- uh, removed the one size Kept tag. the post, but then took off the tag where it said, use the one size matte setting spray. Whatever. Yes. That's a Beyonce thing to me. Well. I think she's very much gives the vibe of like, okay, this is getting too popular. I don't want to sell this for I'm someone. I'm not making coin on this. So. You're not making coin off me. That's the vibe. That's why I think Which maybe. is kind of. Weird. Odd because it wasn't on her Instagram, it was, it was on her, her makeup, makeup artist. artist. So exactly. I feel like the makeup artist should be entitled to post what he used. I know. But anyway, it's great. But I have to say, and I think we've talked about it, I hate aerosol setting sprays. Because I had this, I bought this, and it clogged because it's an aerosol. Any t- like the more Yours one. clogged? Yes. Every, when I got it, it clogged on me. And when I did it, it spit little things out. I want, oh. uh, I want, I want this. <laughs> This is the new LYS oh, natural yeah. finish blur mattifying and set. And I did an it's such a test with this and it didn't move. Fine this is micro what I want. mist. Oh yeah, we did this in the unboxing. Yes. It's that fine mist. It's almost <laughs> oh yeah, for my makeup that I'm probably not wearing <laughs> yeah, anymore. This is what I want. I want a I want mist. I can't with the aerosols. It always fucks up on me. I see. I love it, but You've I never will. Never had a problem with it, right? Nope, never had a problem with it. But I will say, with an aerosol mist like the one size, because it's so weightless. When I'm spraying it on myself, doing whatever, I don't feel it. You don't feel it going Mm-mm. on. So then, when you breathe in, you get like a mouthful of setting spray, and you're like choking on it. But <laughs> yeah. then, when I'm putting it on a client, I could see it. I'm like, okay, I know this is going on, and it, but it feel. And I said, even though this feels like nothing, it's setting you. I know. <laughs> but Believe it is it, so I think good. that's a reason I why it. I didn't like it. Was because it didn't give me the satisfaction of a like, feeling drenched in I sweat. I need to feel the setting spray. I know. You I want your try face to be again. wet. I know. I got to try it again though because I always complain yeah. about being oily, which I feel like I've shifted the search to yeah. foundations that don't do it. But I really got to. No, this one is I outstanding. I and mean, for thirty three dollars, it's a steeper price point, but a, I love it. Yeah. All right. And last but not least, we have the what is this? Kiss Falscara? Oh, interesting. Yeah. So it's Kiss Falscara. Hate. I try, girl, there's too many steps. So, I hate, hate, hate <laughs> your hair and makeup, makeup today. One side is basically a glue you're putting on the underside of your lashes. Then you're taking a raw dog lash with no glue, nothing on it, putting it and hoping it sticks and then putting a coat on top of it to seal it. I tried to use this when they came out and I was like a woman on the verge of an inverse breakdown. It was too much. But the reason we kept this in there because we d- this is not it for either no. of us. We have fallen in love. Take it away. So it's the Kiss Impress. Mm. So it's it's a press on false lash that you put underneath your eye. I wore them to your wedding. I wore them I put to them Michaela's on wedding. 6 a.m. I put these on for your wedding because your I had to go all day. I'm going to insert the photo for my wedding where yeah. you look like a fucking Barbie doll. Oh, look my God. Amazing. And, and your was, lashes. And that was literally... Two hours into me sweating, I dancing know. at oh, your girl. wedding. Yeah. And I was so nervous with those lashes because I was tearing up when 
you were getting married. And yeah. I was like, oh God, here I go. I'm going to start crying. Tubing mascara on and <laughs> those lashes on. Mama needs a juice. Yep. And so then I had those on literally lasted the entire day. I had them 6 a.m. I had to do a wedding myself. Sure. <laughs> I had to do a wedding myself. Go do that. And then drive. And yeah. I was like nervous. And I'm oh, like, yeah. oh my God, these are not going to last all day from 6 a.m. to 2 a.m. when I took them yes. off. And let me tell you, I think these, these ones were so easy where basically you take them out. They look like this, but imagine on the top yeah. is a little strip of like glue or tape like adhesive thing, kind of adhesive. You literally just put it right on so and it, it sticks. It takes a learning curve, but just like regular lashes do. And then you gluing, just kind of pinch. But it's so much easier done. than regular lashes. And yeah. they look so natural because it's underneath. what I love about it. It's underneath. So it doesn't cover any of the eyeshadow. So no. as someone that doesn't like to use eyeliner, because I do, I want my eyeshadow to be the star of the show, or like a thin liner, I love this. Yes. And sometimes impress. false lashes can swallow your eye, especially yes. if you have hooded eyes like myself. And I feel like I, whenever I put false lashes on the top, I'm like, oh, this is game over. It just ruined my eyes. Totally. So now that this is underneath, it looks like lash extensions, but totally. I always, and I'm, you know, full tilt crazy. And I did this for your wedding. I put one layer and then I went in between and put more. Yes. So they were oh, super you could build full. them up as much as you want. And in that photo. Stunning. I was like, holy Stunning. shit, they look good. I know. I and know. they come off. I take the one size because you yeah. can, on the only downside, you can only really wear them for the day, yes. which is, they're like $17.99, but sometimes Ulta I mean, has buy one, get one half off. strip lashes for the day as well, so. You don't reuse them? Oh, you're right. You're. I thought you meant like sleep with them. <gasps> oh, Mary. <laughs> you know how many people ask us that? Yeah, no. no. I know what you're saying. I know what you mean. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, God. Yeah, it's one time use. You're it's not a, getting a second use. Yeah, it's use a one time use. So but you're how not much are regular s- people wearing eyelashes? You know what no, I mean? No, and so I want to do that with my eyelashes. <laughs> I wish I could do that with my eyelashes. Yeah. yeah. You're so <laughs> talented. Every totally, drunk bitch yeah. to us when we're yeah. wearing makeup, Trixie. I cannot. Yeah. yeah. I wish oh. I wish you could do my makeup. I never want to see you again. <laughs> yeah. Katya with her uh, her voice when she's like, spend XR right, not a privilege. Mm-hmm. I want to do that with my eyelashes. Oh my God, yes. Yeah, that, is, that bugs me out. Yes. Um, but yeah, these lashes are so, so Amazing. incredible. And I say, go out and get them. They are, and I would get multiple styles too, because yes. I would put more natural ones here. And then I always Spiky. Start, you did what was it? It was called spiky. Spiky, or something. and yes. I I start I always start from the outer point of my eye and work inward, yes. so I know not to go too close to my inner and don't get too close to your <laughs> upper tight line. Put a little eyeliner there before, so it's nice and black, and then go right on the lash, so then you don't have the gap. You've never really in the past been concerned with people getting too close to your innards. <laughs> <laughs> I had to. So whore. anyway, yeah, you I prostitution whore. Don't fall victim of this false scara BS. No, they are but awful. The, but the in the in weird though that it's the same brand. Why do you have both options? To be honest with you, I feel like they came out with this. They really push this. I got five PR boxes of the same false scara, and I was like, if they you send me any more of these, well, I was ready to lose my mind. And I feel like this didn't do Mama, as well. You know the tea with this because it's nine steps, and these are supposed to last you days. Oh God, no! These were on. Un- Nightmare. It took me. I've been doing makeup for ten years. I was almost in tears. But this it is supposed to, yeah, because you're supposed to bond and then seal, and it's supposed to last you like lash extensions, but obviously not as long because lash extensions are like weeks and weeks. And I'm weeks. not shellacking a woodworking project. Yeah, put the fucking lash on and call it a day. I yeah. could do nine people's false lashes then, in the time it took me to get one of these. Up. When I did <laughs> the kiss lashes though, and like I, I was going to say before too, taking the one size remover setting spray, I sprayed it over my eyes once. Yes, I barely touched them off you know what i will say too the night with michaela's wedding so the only thing i will say is you want to make sure that you don't put them too deep down where it's like touching your your tight tight line line, because you'll feel it so you want to be and again it's so easy to get the hang of it even more than regular strip lashes so i was in the car on the way to michaela's wedding Mm because of course we're running light i'm running light everywhere and i was actually taking them all off and i re-put them all on so they were already adhered. Sticky. I took them off. Okay. So you might be able to get more than one day because I took them all off, separated them, and put them back on in the car to fix it. Lasted the entire wedding. Because the problem with this is, too, when you try to clamp it, because it has a bottom layer of shellac and a top layer of shellac, the shellac gets on the tweezer, and then the tweezer is sticky. So when you squeeze the lash, the lash comes off on the tweezer. But with the impress, it's... There's no, the outsides aren't sticky. So you can 
squeeze it and it doesn't come off on the tweezer. So- and, oh, and the tool that it comes with, I will say, in the impress ones, boot nasty, just use a tweezer. Just use your regular tweezer. It's the same tweezer yeah. as that. I hate those tweezers. And it, because it touches too, you can't like yes. get in there as much. Girl, totes, no. Totes. Falscara, don't believe the hype. The Im- what is it? Impress. impress. Kiss impress lashes. Sk- kiss lashes. They're Absolutely like the little love. clusters. Yeah. 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 Alrighty, guys, that is it for another episode of Beautiful and Bothered. I hope you enjoyed this. This was uh, whether you are wasting your money on overhyped TikTok products. And there are a lot of fucking overhyped TikTok products yeah, out there. Yeah. So should I tease? I was debating whether I should tell people about. <gasps> oh, Mary Dugan. Let me just say this, guys. If you made it all the way to the end like this, you're the real one. So I'm going to give you a little tea. And this is how I know in the comments if you stuck around this long. Let me just say me and my husband's living situation may be changing very soon. I'm not going to give the details because it's not finalized. But maybe next soon. episode after certain things happen. Soon. But uh, that being said, it's going to be a new chapter of the podcast where we talk about new things and maybe just... I, it's going to be a lot of transition and a lot of change. And by all means, ask us questions. Let us know yes. topics you want us to cover because we love doing this for you each yes. week. Make sure to subscribe on Spotify, Apple Podcasts. Leave us a five-star review if you can. And if you want your episode one day early, subscribe to the YouTube channel. And- you have a YouTube channel. <laughs> Do you have a YouTube channel? <laughs> it's so hot in here. <laughs> I can't wait for central air. And if you want your episode... <laughs> Tile it down. It's like at a hundred, and I need you to like give half the energy. And it's do you have a YouTube channel? Or like it is Sharon Needles. Do you have a YouTube channel? I feel like <laughs> I look like this. <laughs> And if you want your episode one day early on Sunday, make sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel wherever you know. <laughs> That's all I right hear. Do you have a YouTube channel? <laughs> Wherever you guys are, we hope you are happy, (laughs) safe, and healthy. And remember, you are beautiful. Bye, guys. We'll see you next week. You have a YouTube channel.